Huddersfield beat Man United for the first time in 65 years to end Jose Mourinho's side unbeaten start. Craig Burley breaks down Man United's defensive errors which proved costly against Huddersfield. Australia's Aaron Moy once again proved his worth for Huddersfield, coolly placing in the opener against Manchester United. Jose Mourinho admits Huddersfield were the better team against his lacklustre Man United. With the January window on the horizon, there's plenty brewing in the transfer market. All the latest deals and potential deals can be found here. Top story United I £30 million Solar Manchester United are licking their wounds from a shock 21 defeat to Huddersfield and a setback to their title ambitions with Manchester City's relentless run continuing. But the Mail believes the Red Devils are busy behind the scenes making more moves, with a £30 million offer to bring Valencia midfielder Carlos Sola to Old Trafford in the works. The Spain under-21 midfielder has a £75 million buyout clause, though Los Che will likely negotiate for a lower fee. Jose Mourinho is keen to add midfield cover after seeing his side deprived of their talisman Paul Pogba due to injury. Sola has played a key role in Valencia's red-hot start of the season and featured in Saturday's 40 win over Sevilla to keep them second, four points behind leaders Barcelona. Carlos Sola, 20, has played a key role in Valencia's fine start to the La Liga season. Real confident of landing Kane next summer Real Madrid are now confident they will land Harry Kane next summer with the Sun reporting that Los Blancos have made the Tottenham star their number one target. The England striker will cost up to £198 million, the price that Paris saint germain fought out for Neymar last summer. The 24-year-old has admitted never say never when quizzed on the potential to leave Spurs in the future. Interest in Kane will likely be ramped up in the coming months, ahead of next summer's World Cup. Real I England super talent Sancho Real Madrid are monitoring England under-17 super talent Jadon Sancho, according to the Mirror. Having shone at the Under-17 World Cup in India, an agreement with club Borussia Dortmund meant a premature return to Germany following the group stages. Los Blancos sent scouts to watch the former Manchester City winger in action for BVB in their Bundesliga fixture with Eintracht Frankfurt, where he featured as an 84-the-minute substitute in the 22 draw. Dortmund are unlikely to entertain offers for their £8 million signing any time soon though. While the player is also unlikely to be interested given he walked away from City due to frustrations over potential first-team opportunities. Yaya to join New York City FC Yaya Toure is set to end his eight-year stay at Manchester City at the end of the season, with a star reporting that the Ivorian will join the Blues sister club New York City FC and MLS. The 34-year-old has won two Premier League titles at the Etihad and will go down as one of the club's greatest players. A falling out with Pep Guardiola last term seemed to end his time at the club, though the pair reconciled, leading to a 12-month extension. The form of Fernandino and the array of attacking talent at Guardiola's disposal has meant Yaya taking a bit part role this season and a spell in MLS now look like the swan song to a great career. Yaya Torre has been linked with a move to Manchester City's sister club New York City FC. Tapens Everton's Henry Onyekuru is being tracked by Juventus and Atletico. Madrid, reports the Mirror. The Toffees splashed out £7 million on the 20-year-old this summer before immediately loaning him to Anderlecht. After a series of impressive displays though, Europe's biggest clubs are already willing to prize the Nigerian away from Goodison before he has even played for the club. Newcastle could be ready to hand Rafa Benitez as much as £500 million over the next two transfer windows as part of their takeover, claims the Express. The Magpies are likely to make moves for two of their former stars in January Crystal Palace winger Andros Townsend and PSG outcast Hassan Ben Arfa. Page 2 Huddersfield beat Man United for the first time in 65 years to end Jose Mourinho's side unbeaten start. Craig Burley breaks down Man United's defensive errors which proved costly against Huddersfield. Australia's Aaron Moy once again proved his worth for Huddersfield, coolly placing in the opener against Manchester United. Jose Mourinho admits Huddersfield were the better team against his lacklustre Man United. With the January window on the horizon, there's plenty brewing in the transfer market. All the latest deals and potential deals can be found here. Top story United I £30 million Solar Manchester United are licking their wounds from a shock 21 defeat to Huddersfield and a setback to their title ambitions with Manchester City's relentless run continuing.
But the male believes the Red Devils are busy behind the scenes making more moves, with a £30 million offer to bring Valencia midfielder Carlos. As rumours continue to swirl about Mate Ozil's future, Man United has reportedly become the top destination for the playmaker. With the January window on the horizon, there's plenty brewing in the transfer market. All the latest deals and potential deals can be found here. Top story Ozil refutes Man United links Mazet Ozil has dismissed speculation that he could leave Arsenal for Manchester United as he begins to feel the strain of the uncertainty surrounding his future. The Sun quotes a source close to Ozil as saying the German HASNT held talks with United over a potential transfer and that he ISNT even aware of the latest transfer rumours from around the world. Things change in the blink of an eye in football. The Football Whispers Index takes the latest transfer rumours and gives them a score out of five. The higher the score, the more realistic and reliable the whisper. Here are today's top five emerging whispers. And keep an eye on transfer talk for all the latest gossip. Charlie Austin to Queen's Park Rangers The out-of-favour Southampton striker could look to move in January as he seeks first-team football, and his former side Queen's. As rumours continue to swirl about Mays at Ozil's future, Man United has reportedly become the top destination for the playmaker. With the January window on the horizon, there's plenty brewing in the transfer market. All the latest deals and potential deals can be found here. Top story Ozil says HES headed to Man United The big news in today's gossip pages is that Mays at Ozil is planning to leave Arsenal for Manchester United either in January or when his contract expires at the end of the season. According to the Daily Mirror, the 29-year-old is so confident the deal will happen that helps already told his Gunners teammates. Ozil. The latest transfer rumours from around the world. Things change in the blink of an eye in football. The Football Whispers Index takes the latest transfer rumours and gives them a score out of five. The higher the score, the more realistic and reliable the whisper. Here are today's top five. Emerging whispers. And keep an eye on transfer talk for all the latest gossip. Christian Eriksen to Barcelona Scouts from Barcelona reportedly took the opportunity to visit the Bernabeu on Tuesday night, not to watch rivals Real Madrid, but Arturo Vidal does not appear to be in Jep Henke's plans at Bayern Munich and could be set for a move. With the January window on the horizon, there's plenty brewing in the transfer market. All the latest deals and potential deals can be found here. Top story into plan move for Vidal Arturo Vidal is being tracked by Inter Milan, who could snap up the Chile international in the winter transfer window as Bayern Munich readjust after sacking Carlo Ancelotti. The former Juventus star's most likely destination appears to be Inter, with the Nerazzurri likely to make a move following summer interest.